Coming up on Wife Swap. Two women worlds apart. A selfie-obsessed mum who puts her own needs before the kids. If I had the kids home seven days a week, I'd probably go crazy. I need my own time. And a no-frills country mum whose children are number one. The kids definitely <laughs> rule the roost. <laughs> Even the kids that have grown up and moved out still live here every day. Basically, yeah. But when they swap lives, their world is turned completely upside down. Yeah. Noise, chaos, noise, washing, dusting, hanging clothes out. Do you think your mum would like help? Whatever. <laughs> Did you wash up much today? Did I wash up? <laughs> There's nothing productive about taking photos of myself. Until... <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to be a bitch. The new mum calls all the shots. I want you to get up and go. Right now. And your kids. She's a fucking bitch. And when the couples meet for Judgment Day... My kids have more respect than your older kids did. They need to have a clear line of what's using you. Who will be... You've had their feelings. ..the better parent. I left it all fun. This is Wife Swap. I take photos of myself every day. I've got about 80,000 followers on Instagram. My world is selfie world. Thank you, thank you. Meet the glamorous and self-absorbed Paulson family. Instagram-obsessed mum, Elle. Love ya. Clean freak dad, Rob. And their two seen but not heard children, RJ and Ashton. All right, love you, boys. Where are you going? Huh? Mummy's going to her lounge room. OK? In our house, it's really important that parent and couple time take priority. Thank you. Thank you. The kids eat in one lounge room and we eat in the other. Hey, Elle. Yeah? Hey, the babysitter's here. I don't think that kids should have 110% of your time. Bye, See you, boys. There should be time made for yourself and your partner as well. I was thinking that maybe we just organise a babysitter for the weekend. And Enjoy go it. Down. Yeah, we can go down and have a weekend for us. If I had the kids home seven days a week, I'd probably go crazy. I need my own time. You yeah, don't have to much. sell me on oh, no. um. <laughs> My mum said, if you have kids, you look after them. Meet the kids first. <laughs> family first. Keevil family. Breadwinner dad, David. Teenage son, Nike. Youngest daughters, Summer and Misty. Eldest daughters, Sky and Hope who have three kids of their own, a handful of pets, and the devoted mum and grandmum reining them all in, Cherie. Holy moly. I do all the cooking, washing, cleaning. <coughs> Dave works hard concreting to provide for his large family. <coughs> the kids definitely rule the roost. <coughs> and let me guess, Lacey's hungry. It's like a daycare center. Basically, yeah. It really is. Kids, dinner! Family time is our number one. Let her have that one and just get another one. We always have dinner together every night. And the kids even try and bring the pets to the table. <laughs> Hopefully the new wife will love kids and animals and noise and chaos, cos that's my life. That's great. The social experiment has begun. There we go, babe. And the wives prepare to swap lives. Oh, I'm freaking out. And families. What if you get there and you can't use your phone and you're not going to have your Instagram and stuff like that? <laughs> You've never, ever, ever, ever had the kids without me. <laughs> never for one night. It's going to be pretty good, In babe. 23 it's be years. Hard. I'm terrified about the swap. I've never, ever left my children, my pets. Foxy, you want to get in my suitcase? 
And I've never been out of Queensland. Baby. <sighs> Bye, mate. <sighs> Bye, guys. Be good. Oi, Henry, you can't come. It'll be a long week, I think. The wives travel across the state as they get ready to move into each other's home. The houses here are huge compared to Jinjin. I probably won't fit in very well in this lifestyle, but I'll go in open-minded. This looks like the middle of nowhere. Dorothy's definitely stepped out of Kansas. Before they meet their new family, No Frills mum Cherie and glamour-obsessed mum Elle can judge their new home. Oh my God, I'm in the bush. Oops. What the hell am I doing here? This house is so old. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is not made for high heels. <laughs> Taxi! It's beautiful. Movie star lifestyle. Pool, big boat. I don't even have a dishwasher or a microwave or a dryer. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's so many dogs. <laughs> this is the whole family space and not much separation time at all. There's two lounge rooms. Mum and Dad looking very glamorous, which is so not me. <laughs> oh, that's tiny. And they all must use the one bathroom. Oh gosh. She obviously doesn't wear makeup. <laughs> They're going to be shocked with me. It's like a. I don't even know what you call this little room. <laughs> Sitting room? There's a tripod. Oh, maybe for selfies, I'm thinking maybe. Or just part of the cupboard. Oh, it's very dirty. I don't like cleaning and I want to clean it. I think that maybe she's a princess. Yuck. Yuck. How do you have dog meat just sitting in here? In a kitchen. Oh, my gosh. Wow. No, 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 no. Each wife has written a household manual. OK. Which describes their rules and how to run their home. I'm a stay-at-home mum with a hard-working husband, Dave, and five kids. Stop it! We have three grandbabies. Oh, my gosh. So I've swapped with grandparents. I'm an affectionate, fun-loving mum with a neat freak fiancé, Rob. Rob does all the housework. She is going to struggle very badly at my house because I do everything. I always clean our house every day. Well, amen, sister. Dusting, what's that? That's hilarious. Ironing, I always do the ironing. I do not iron. No, who, who even irons? So she's definitely a princess of the house. Wow. I feel like all she does is clean. That's just her job, clean. I'm living in the 18th century. I spend days taking Instagram photos or laying by the pool in my bikinis, working on my tan. I think that's, you know, crazy. Especially when you could be raising your little boys. We don't believe your life stops when you become a parent. We have a date night once a week. We rarely go out. We almost never have date nights. That's so sad. We have separate areas for me and Rob to eat and spend quiet time together, away from the kids. That's really sad because they are part of the family. They're not a pet. Our eldest girls, Sky and Hope, are at our place with their grandbabies 
every day, every single day. So they're treating this place like a hotel. It's now time for the wives to find out what they're up against as they meet their new husband and children. How are you all? Good. I'm Elle. Hello. What's your name? Hello, Sama. You must be Misty. Hi, I'm Sheree. Sheree, I'm Robert. Very nice to meet you. This is my son, Ashton. So Thank nice you. to meet you. How are you going? Oh, Elle, hello. hello. Goodness, she is taller than my missus. My missus towers out there, but my goodness, wow. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I've got two little boys. That's going to be different for Mum. It's going to be a bit quiet, probably. Three live at home still. And then I have two that have... Well, they don't live there, but they're there every day. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Mummy's going to be very busy. Big family, yeah. Wow. Do you get up to much of the Gold Coast? Yeah, we, me and my partner are <laughs> out together all the time. Yeah. The kids are at kindy five days a week. Oh, OK. Everyone's different in how they bring their kids up. We like to be real close to our kids. When you put them in babysitting all the time, we don't know if you are as close to them as they're growing up. I'm each to their own, I suppose. And the subject of child rearing is even more contentious at the Polson House. Some people might think, you know, it's selfish or whatever, but we are sending kids to daycare. Definitely different parenting styles. My life revolves around the kids. Dave's a concreter, yeah. so he goes off and works during the day, day and I do all the at home and kids and... Yeah. Every, everything, I guess, works different for everyone else. Cherie still has old school morals. For us, the, you know, daycare and stuff like that was really, really good. She might not be able to adjust very quickly to what my family's like. They're happy, everything, life's, life's good. Like, you know what I mean? But that's the way it's going to be. It's day two of the social experiment, and Instagram-obsessed mum, Elle... All this is it, all the clean stuff that yeah. I'll fold up. Yeah. ..has swapped lives with country grandmum, Cherie. I'm not sure where to start. I never take photos of myself. And Elle, who's reluctantly obeying her household rules... Oh. ..isn't used to a life where the kids and chores <laughs> come first. <laughs> These nails aren't made for working. According to the household <laughs> manual, Elle has to do three loads of washing a day, plus all the cooking, and she's not impressed. Slaving over a hot stove, which is great fun for nobody. And to make matters worse... Hey, how are you? Eldest I'm daughters Sky. Sky and Hope show up unannounced with their kids for dinner. So what do you guys usually do while mum's cooking? Chilling. <laughs> Chilling out? Yeah. And Elle wastes no time grilling them on how they treat their mother. Do you think your mum would like help? We just go with the flow. You guys go with the flow. Mum doesn't stop, eh? Hey? No, mum's pretty busy. Yeah. But she still goes with the flow. Like, we never have rules or anything. We just... Do whatever. Yeah. Well, we spend basically every day here. Basically live here, just don't sleep here. And she's Sometimes right I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, I'll stay here the night or whatever, and Mum will just wash my clothes. Because Mum just does them for me. <laughs> I can see Sheree loves her kids so much, but her relationship with them is like a nanny. Whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the Gold Coast, the Polson kids are away at daycare. I definitely wouldn't want to spend any more than, like, ten minutes in here by myself. Leaving No Frills mum, Cherie, freed up to follow her household rules, glamming up for a selfie session. I feel so much out of my comfort zone. This is so strange to me. I'm not sure where to start. Oh, there you go. It's going now. It's counting. I can see it. I feel like I'm wasting my time. I think it's quite selfish when you've got two young children that don't need to be at daycare every day. It's extremely lonely and boring. 
Back in Jin Jin, Instagram model Elle is starting to lose it over her never-ending list of household chores. Washing, dusting, hanging clothes out, folding them over. It literally doesn't stop. Gosh. Oh, fuck. I've lost a diamante. The other day, Mum washed up eight times. Eight times yep. in one day? Yeah. Why so many times? Because, they, like, every time the girls will get a coffee, they will use a different cup. But it's not just dirty coffee cups that Sky and Hope leave behind. Whose shoes are these? That's Sky. Sky's shoes. More stuff to add to Sky and Hope's pile. I'm angry that the girls aren't helping their mum. Girls! <laughs> girls! It's just too much. It goes on and on and on. More of Sky and Hope's shoes. After a full day doing nothing but taking selfies, Cherie continues to kick back over dinner with Rob's flashy Gold Coast friends. Hi. Nice to meet you, sweetheart. Hello, Hi. how are you? Good, I'm thank Spike. you. Nice to meet you. I'm Cherie. Looking beautiful. Rob's friends are a lot different to ours. They're very dressed up and lots of makeup and look like they're going out on the town. So, Where are you from? Jinjin, Jin, which is a little tiny country town. Is there a bottle shop there? <laughs> um, no. OK, I can't do Jinjin. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Feeling suddenly awkward, Cherie realises Rob's party is more important than the kids. We haven't seen the kids since everyone arrived. They've just entertained themselves. My kids would be right beside us. If you're going to have a drink, I'm going to give you a drink of champagne. <laughs> and let you enjoy that at least, please. I think they have a lifestyle like before you have children. It's all about them. Do you like it here? Um, I think the biggest difference between, like, Elle and I is I spend 24-7 with the kids. Where here, I think it's more Elle is, you know, the princess in the house. I think we all share the same values. I think people just go in different directions. Yeah. You know, Elle enjoying the sun and stuff like that. You know, she's got time to do that sort of stuff when the kids are at childcare. Whereas yep. with yourself, like you were saying, you looked after the kids yeah. that morning and night. Your husband went and got up at four in the morning and went to work. Old school. Yeah, old school, yeah. you know. He did make sure that he said everyone raises their kids different, but I wouldn't leave two-year-olds on their own without worried about them getting hurt. Cheers to Sheree being yeah. here. Cheers. 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 They definitely need to be less selfish and combine into a family rather than adults and children separately. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's now day three, living under old household rules. And at the Keevil family home, Adult children Sky and Hope have shown up yet again. Hello. Keen to spend another lazy day at their makeshift daycare centre. What are you guys doing today? Yeah. Chill and talk to Mum, really. Sky and Hope are treating their mum's house like it's a kindergarten for their kids. <laughs> Grandbabies just take over everything. <laughs> Sky and Hope are a little bit blind to what they're actually doing. How are you going? Good. It smells good. I can see why they're coming here every day. They're being waited for hand and foot. How'd you get sale? Good. I'm trained. Honestly, I'm really exhausted. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry, it's fun. Did you wash up much today? Did I wash up? Uh, this is the... 
The girls help out? No. Sit back and watch you. Yeah. The girls have been here for most of the day. Didn't offer once to help me. I want my old life back. Back at the Polsons, Ashton and RJ have returned from daycare desperate to play. Look at that, and you're only five. But Cherie must follow Elle's manual and begrudgingly returns to her daily selfie session. There's nothing productive about sitting here all day taking photos of myself. Meanwhile, clean freak Rob also ignores the kids as he prioritises his obsession with cleaning. I'm going to have to go and play with them in your lounge room, please, because I'm cleaning up at the moment. All right? All right? When they're at care every day, there's not much time to have family time. Don't wait. Just wait till it dries. Much different home. <laughs> I just miss the wall. I've never been away from my kids, ever. And I think, like, right now, I'd be out you know, galloping around on the, ho on the horses. If the grandbabies are there, they'd be <laughs> jumping on the tramp. You know, and sometimes we complain about the mess of noise. But um, after here, like, I'll definitely complain less. <laughs> and the day isn't getting any easier. Yeah. You want chicken strips? Yeah, I love it. Or do you want Dagwood Dog? Um, I and one of these? I have... In a house where kids are seen but not heard, doting mum Cherie is about to get a rude shock on how dinner time runs. Once they're cooked, they sit in their little lounge room there. Yep. Get them some sauce and some drinks. And yeah, they should be fine. You're going to sit there like a good boy and eat your food, eh? I think it's a bit sad that they don't eat all together. You know, at least five nights a week, we eat as a family around the table. Oh, look what's Dinner's here. Dinner's ready, boys. Dinner's ready. It wow. It might be a little bit hot. What do you say? Thank you. Good, good job. You make sure you eat your food, all right? Good boy. Most families wouldn't understand why we've got two lounge rooms, but I'd much prefer them running around and making noise in their lounge room than our lounge room. They're only little ones, so I'm not sure why Rob doesn't want to spend a lot more time with them. Back in Jin Jin, Elle's had a gut full of adult kids' sky and hope. Hello. Come on, Henry. I've been doing everyone's laundry on a notice. I've got a full basket that doesn't belong to the house here. Yeah. Why have you got stuff here too? Just if I shower here or stay the night or whatever, I just throw yeah. my clothes in the washing pile. <laughs> yeah. Just wash them. Why don't you take it home, like back to your place? Just because Mum washes it. Yeah. And just folds it up and just gives it back to me. Yeah. Would you think about Oh, I've washed it. I'll pop it in a plastic bag and take it home and just put oh. it with my washing. Like once she's washed it, take no, it No, once when it's dirty. Oh, well, so if someone went to your house, like a guest, you wouldn't wash their clothes. You my would just give it back to them dirty. My guests take their clothes home with them because mm. they're the guests, so they've got their own home where their own wardrobe is. I don't really care. I it's think... just washing to me. Would you tell me which one's... I've just got a pair yeah. of pants and they... These ones are mine. I left these there last night, actually. They were quite defensive when I took the basket out. I think reality smacked them in the face and they didn't like it. Shove it all in there. There is going to be a few egos bursted when I change these rules. Are you nervous, Hope? I'm not nervous about any kinds of real changes. Fuck, I'm going to be a bitch. After struggling to live by each other's rules, selfie-obsessed mum Elle and no-frills mum Cherie are ready to take control and lay down their own rules. It's time for this household to learn the difference between guests and residents. So rule change today, boys. Mummy is a bit of a princess. <laughs> I think she could 
definitely spend a bit more quality time with the kids. So, Rob, no more cleaning. I will clean during the day. So when you get home from work, you can spend more time with Alan the boys. I'm a firm believer that just because you're a stay-at-home mum doesn't mean your life ends there. I'm truly exhausted. So my rule starts with doing your own laundry and I'd like everyone to help clean up as well. Sky and Hope, you've got to remember you're a guest in this house. So your rule is to always clean up after yourself and your kids. I don't think Mum really cares that much. I don't think it'd be something that Mum would change. Date night. I realise it's really important for Alan yourself, but I think at least once a week you could do an activity that's just for the boys. Yeah, no, nah, look, uh... I really hope that Al comes home understanding the importance of family time and spending more time with the boys. Dave! <laughs> I can see that you and Cherie love each other so much. Yep. But I really want you to put in a bit more effort romantically with each other. Yep. So, suit up because you and me are going on date night. Ooh. Makes me nervous having to go out with someone else besides my wife. Uninterrupted. No kids. You're missing out on so much time with your children. Since I've been here, the biggest thing I noticed was separate living areas. The golden rule is we are going to share the one living room with the children. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> excited to start. Rob's saying that he would love to do the changes, but I'm just not convinced that he's just telling me what I want to hear. So I've blocked off the oh, wow. adult lounge room. Now we're in with the kids. I don't know how it's going to go, but I just don't think that it would work. They're kids, they want their own time. Look what Cherie's done. Rob may be a little overwhelmed with spending time with the kids because it's something that him and Elle are not used to. Come on, let's go. That's the rule. All right? This is my golden rule. Dave, you're the boss of the house, and I want your support with this more than anything. This rule is going to change your life. You might not see it straight up, but it will help each and every one of you. So, Sky and Hope, if you don't live in this home, you can only come here three times a week. I want you to get up and go. Right now. You get up and go. Whoa. Like, thanks for that. I think she was a fucking bitch. I did like her until just then. I think it was all a bit of bullshit. I don't believe we are there 24 7, and I do think we pick up after ourselves, so. Yeah, she's portrayed us to be something we're not. How was that, Dave? I knew this was that. Okay, girls, we gotta go. Why? What's our rule? She doesn't wash her own kids' clothes. She sits on the other side of the pool while her kids are in daycare. That's lazy. Why are you crying? It's because I'm upset, sweetie. Mama, I don't like people to cry. Mate, don't take any of that, huh? Dad, I am because I'm not going to make man look like a slob. Oh. I don't like that. I'm sure it's hard for Dave to kick his girls out of his own home, but. They need to see how they're taking advantage of their own mum. She didn't make you look like a slob. She just said... Oh, she did. Dad. She did. Dad. She did. She said, I've noticed that you don't clean up after us. She said, we fucking do. The only thing is if mum beats us to it. But like, there is know. times where you... Dad, I always put my coffee cup in the up. sink. Yeah, I agree. She's not saying put your coffee in the sink. She's... No, she's saying she doesn't want to see it. She just hates us. I don't care. I'm she such doesn't. a... She doesn't hate I have, like, come such a long way to be made out to be, like, a complete piece of shit. She literally made us 
and decided that we were a massive issue. <laughs> I don't care. Everyone's lazy when they go to mum's house. But it's all good, Hope. It's not all good, Dad. Calm down. I don't have anything left to say to Elle. Come on, girls. So I'm happy to leave it at that. OK, whatever. I'm not coming back then. I don't really care, to be honest. I know you're not naughty, but they think that you are. Nike. In country Queensland, glamorous mum Elle is wasting no time implementing her new rules. Are you excited? I've yeah. got something really special. Do you want to close your eyes? And rule number one is to force the lazy Keevil kids to grow up and do household chores. Surprise! It's a washing basket! Close your eyes. Open. Dusters. There's the rules. You remember them? I want to see the whole room dusted, the cobwebs underneath the cupboards. I had to do this, so now it's your turn. We've never had to. Haven't you? Well, that's an exciting thing to show Mum when she gets back, isn't it? <laughs> I love a man that does laundry. Careful with that one. <laughs> Rule change. Oh, I am loving it. It's just good to relax and have a little bit more me time. It's a lot more quieter without everyone else here too. <laughs> Yuck, that's so disgusting. We've actually had laughs. <laughs> Oh, it's everywhere. And they're enjoying their new roles as adults. Speaking of adults, Elle's golden rule was to throw eldest kids Sky and Hope out of home. Do you think I was too harsh to the girls? But she's now having concerns about causing a rift in the family. Pretty hard for me to come into your house and try and find the things that need to be fixed. Yeah. Why do you reckon they got so upset with it? I don't know, I think it was just them getting kicked out of the house. Do you find it more peaceful, like, just to have your own space this time with me? Yeah, it is a lot quieter. Yeah? Yeah. The grandbabies, when they come here, just take over everything, and the younger girls, you can see they're wanting more attention. Would you like to do this with your mum without everyone else here running around? It'd be nice. Yeah. In time, I really want Sky and Hope to know that I'm not trying to hurt them. I'm trying to help them. A few more boundaries will benefit your family. Yeah. And it is going to help Cherie. Determined to teach the Polsons that family time should come first. Rob does not like streaks on his countertop. Cherie's taken over all cleaning duties from neat freak Rob, so he's freed up and forced to hang out with the kids. Hey, boys. Hey, you have a good you? day. What have you been up to? Doing a bit of cleaning. Have you? Wow. Hope it's good enough. It's actually... It's not like too bad. Not too, not too bad of a job, eh? A couple I'll of little streaks in the bench. Oh, a couple look, of little streaks. Just more yeah, of Let's have a look and see Cherie's cleaning. By all means, I love the fact that she cleaned and stuff, but I'm OCD. I like to clean things my own way. Oh, you forgot the blankets. Has Cherie done a good job, boys, cleaning? Good job? It must be nice sometimes for Daddy to come home and not have to clean. Yeah, I'll be able After to... After a hard day. I'll be able to have an early glass of wine or something. Not quite getting that cocktail hour isn't the end game. Cherie takes Rob outside for rule number two, a bonding session with his kids. You can mix that one, RJ, so you can make purple. But OCD Rob is unable to relax. I could see that Rob doesn't like getting the paint on himself. Did you have a love heart for Mummy? And he was quite conscious not getting paint on his hands. Oh, you got a beautiful face on yours. He definitely was nervous. Are you ready to see what it looks like? Watch this. 
Oh, wow. Ta-da! But I think the boys definitely like the new rules because they get to spend more time with their parents. Rob, you're having fun with the boys? Yeah, I think it's exciting. It's not something that I actually usually do. I'm always too worried about thinking about the mess and stuff like that. If Elle helps around the house more, you get more time to spend with the boys. The boys are having heaps of fun, and I guess I don't see this side of them when they're doing it, because I never come out and do it with them. That was amazing. So, yeah, for sure. He's happy with that, boys? He's liking it? He's having fun? The boys had big smiles on their face. They loved every minute. They also loved cleaning it up. That's his daddy coming out of him. <laughs> the work will be there later. They'll only be little ones. Yeah. I'll take half of that on board and yeah. I'll make sure I've got a clean house and enjoy time with the yeah. kids. Rob did learn it's OK to be messy with the boys because it brought them so much happiness. Thank you, beautiful boy. High five. High five for sure. I was shocked that Rob's white T-shirt came out with not one mark on it. So that was pretty good. 99.9% .9 of fathers wouldn't be able to survive not having paint on their T-shirt, but I'm that 1% that never gets dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the final day following our wives' new rules. Some spaghetti bowl. You gonna have some with us at the table? No. And full-time mum Cherie is adamant about making the self-absorbed Polsons eat together as a family. Not in separate living rooms. Eating at the table with kids and parents will be messy but fun. No, how am I helping you? Dinner's help ready, guys. And over time, it'll just be habit. They'll just eat at the table every night. Come on! Are you a sookie lava? No. All right, come here. No. Come here, come on, let's sit down. No. What, you're not going to eat? No. All right, well, we, I want to eat. I want to eat some food. It was a little bit tough. Ashton was not completely on board. Yeah. You don't like it. You don't like it? How about you taste it? Had a few little tears, but heading in the right direction. Is that yummy? You're a champion. Look at you, eating. And, you know, this is obviously the first night that we've sat here yeah, and you've been promoting. Yeah, it's new to him and he's only two. The fact that they're sitting down eating the same food as us is definitely amazing. Is this nice, huh, Jane? Do you enjoy this, sitting on the table like this? I like want Shinnipi to be naughty boy. Oh. <laughs> you got to keep an eye on him for us. Definitely it would be a lot easier for Elle if she can cook dinner for just once for all of us. Come on, eat it properly. Don't worry about him. He's a naughty boy. But if it doesn't work, we can only try so much and hopefully it doesn't go back to the way that they're sitting in front of the TV doing it. Do you want to sit down and have some food with us now? Because if that's the way they're going to eat their dinner, then obviously that's the way that we're going to have to go. OK. Thank you. At the Keevil House, Glamorous Elle is back in parents before kids mode. Elle and Dave date night. So excited. And she's on a mission to inject a little spice back into Dave and Cherie's love life. A bit nervous. Um, never really been on a date with a, another lady before. They're giving everything to their family constantly, so this is their chance to have something for themselves. <laughs> G'day. Oh, hey, don't you look amazing? Yeah, you too, you look nice. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, you scroll up so well. Yeah. <laughs> Try to. Nike, you're in charge for the night. All right. Be good, girls. See you guys. This is the first time I'm really hanging out with Dave by myself without all the kids at home. Thank you. It's cool. Thank you so much. Gosh, no, I've missed no this. Worries. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Date night. Date night. <laughs> I reckon this was a good idea because me and Sheree, we don't do this much. So when she comes back, you better take this. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked in now. It is locked in. It's locked in. Having successfully broken the ice, Elle takes the opportunity to address the elephant in the room. What's been the hardest rule that I've changed? I think it's the one that you give the older girls. I don't think they 
took that too well. If there was one disaster this week, it was definitely Sky and Hope. I think they really needed some help understanding why I made that rule change. Do you think they've realised when I said you can't come here that it wasn't just for you guys, that it was for them as well? Yeah, it's for them too. They just, they've yeah. got to understand. It's not, you don't go somewhere to break a family up. No, not at all. You know, it's good for their family too. Go home, make your man a meal. Be, let your husband see your kids too. Yeah, so And be true. a family as well. Why do you think it's been hard for you guys to do what I just came in and did? Sometimes you, you worry about losing children and being too hard on them. We're softies, you know, like... I genuinely feel bad that I've created this kind of rift here, but when I've got Dave saying thanks for doing it because it's something that we've always been afraid to do. It reassures me that as hard as it is, I made the right decision. It's hard to think what, what's my missus going to think of this when she gets back. I know she wants it, but does she want it? You know, like, don't know what to expect. After swapping lives with a complete stranger, the social experiment is now over, and our wives prepare to reunite with their loved ones. I've learnt that I feel pretty confident that I have probably been a good mum to my five kids at home. I miss it terribly. I'm going home feeling extremely blessed. I'm a bit nervous to see how Cherie feels with all the drama. It's quite a big deal to tell a mother that you've asked her kids to leave the home. <sighs> so I'm not really sure how she's going to take that one. Come on, come and say big hug. Big hug for Sheree. Going. Tell her you're going to miss her, aren't you? I'm going to miss you. Oh, I'm going to miss you too. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you guys so much. You're welcome back anytime, Al. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. See ya, Blow Boys. Be good. Before returning home, the couples will meet halfway to discuss their experiences. But first, they'll reunite with each other. <laughs> oh my god, you look so handsome. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy to be home. I'm so happy to be home. It's been so hard, babe. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. I'm shaking. Our couples can now come face to face for the first time. It's lovely to meet you. Yeah, it's weird being in each other's houses when we haven't met each other. How did you find my house? Um, your selfie room was a bit confused at what it was <laughs> at the start. If it wasn't for the kids' lounge room, you wouldn't know the kids live there much. You know, it's like a showroom. I thought that maybe you were, you know, much more of a princess than I was. I don't know, we're different people. Yeah. So I started living in rules and five kids and three grandbabies. I realised very quickly that I was tired, very tired. I had to do all the washing. Didn't like it, but I did it. It's a big job. <laughs> and I didn't get much free time to myself. You give every ounce of yourself to your family, but I was drained from it. But living like your life, the whole day was just taking photos and sunbaking and I had no one to talk to. It was just so lonely for me. It broke my heart that the boys don't get much time with you and Rob. They're in care every day. Like, it's OK childcare for a break or, like, when you're working. Who do you Ashton's think the break's for? 
When the kids go to childcare, the break's not just me, it's for my kids as well, because they need time to learn and time to socialise. Like just because it's not are... eight hours a day, yeah, but... the two hours of love I give my kids isn't any less yeah, important than Yeah, but even when you are at home, it's always separate. Yeah. You eat dinner separate, you watch TV separate, yeah. you have parties separate. That's definitely not the truth. But it has to change to some degree. I don't think that them going to kindy to learn how to be kind to other kids, I don't think you would have walked into my family and seen that my kids are nasty. Oh, no, they're not. No, no, no. They're beautiful. My, they, I, I, I felt like my kids had more respect than your older kids did. But your kids got no rules like mine didn't when they were little. But Sky and Hope, they're there all the time. Every single day. They need to have a clear line of what's using you, which led me to my golden rule. And that was, if you don't live in the house, you can only come over three times a week. That devastates me that I'm going to get home and my family's going to be talking. <laughs> I left in the whole fight. Sky and Hope, they need to have a clear line of what's using you, which led me to my golden rule. If you don't live in the house, you can only come over three times a week. That devastates me that I'm going to get home and my family's not going to be talking. I will be. I left in the whole fight. <laughs> I just used so much energy to keep them together. I know. I feel like it makes me sad that you've hurt their feelings. I know what you're saying, but it tears my heart out to think you told them to go home. I'm so sorry I've upset, like... I didn't, I, get, I didn't get the chance to speak with the girls after and explain, I'm not doing this to upset you. I'm doing it to make life easier for your mum and for everyone else because no one's had the guts to stand up and tell these but girls. But they know inside. There was something that needed to be done that did hit hard and maybe what Al did, a good thing. They need to spend time with their own families too. You're not going to hurt your kids and push them away and lose them if you start to implement a few rules and start to tell them to help around. We've both been given a chance to have an outsider's point of view on something. Do you know what I mean? To make our families and to change. Better. Do you know what I mean? When the kids get home from care, Rob and Elle sit in their lounge room and the kids sit in their own lounge room. And I felt real sad because I just wanted to go and interact. So we closed the adult lounge room all together. We blocked it off and no longer went in there. Purely to have more quality time, not just being in the same house, interacting with them and actually like quality time. That's something that I definitely want to take on board, to concentrate a lot more on family time, make that more of a priority than everything else in my life. The fact that Sheree implemented one of the rules that, you know, she cleans and I come home and I don't clean, I'll come home now and I won't look for picking. stuff to do and picking at stuff. Instead, I should go outside and do, you know, drawing time with the kids. I was a lot happier doing that. Yeah, what I got out of it was how beautiful my wife is and <laughs> takes Shree out a bit more and some romantic dates and that and um, to let her sit down a bit and take control of the kids. She let me. Yeah. I definitely will take a little bit of time out for myself and it's not a crime to ask for help when it gets overwhelming rather than just silently suffer and keep going. I'm excited to vacuum. Damn up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheree. Thank You're an amazing you. Thanks, mate. It's been a pleasure, mate. Thanks. With the emotional meeting over, our wives can finally return home to their families. Hi, Jay. Hi, Boys. Hi. <laughs> 
go. And mummy's there. <laughs> the most important thing I've taken away is I feel so much more love for my family. Oh, they're amazing. Did you guys love doing art time? Yeah. Should we do it more? Yay! And I totally understand how much Rob does for me. And I'm going to get stuck into the mopping now. <laughs> It's your favourite. Thank you. Thank you. Hi! Hi! I think it will take Sky and Hope a little while to understand the whole process of it. Sky and Hope clean up after your own kids. Well, we all know Elle doesn't, so... The experience was horrible because Elle was horrible. And it did make us grateful for our mum. Captivate the crowd, the cheers and applause. We're so proud. We got that pop song, it's in our head. Melodies will make us move, we can't help the trend. Hands up in the air, we're lost in the sound. We're catching that electric feeling, we're floating off the ground. The song. Close our stage, our kingdom of groove Where dreams ignite and inhibitions we remove We're addicted to the rhythm, it's a heartbeat With every move we feel the music complete 